Hello, my beautiful divas. How are you doing today? Welcome to my video. Today, I'm doing this beautiful look by Juvia's Place. The palette is called The Nomad. This is such a classy, beautiful palette, um, but I didn't have it in my collection, so um, I got it a while ago, and I forgot I had it there, and today I was like, mm, what haven't I played with? Boom, and I found this one so perfect. I love this look. It brings out my brown eyes so well. I love the look that I created today. And please, my divas, keep on watching so you can see what I did today. I love you. To start today, we're going to use this beautiful shade right here as a transitioning color to start in the crease. Oh, that's looking very pigmented right off the bat. And I'm using this fluffier brush because I do want it expanded a little bit to the front. And make it a little bit higher as well. Next, I'm going to go into this darker brown, and that one is going to be mostly in the outer V, like going into the crease. Let's see what it does, because I'm not sure what I'm doing today. I had, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do, because I do want to use the lightest yellowish color in the front. Um, But let's see. This is going to be here in the outer V, mostly. And pushing it a little bit to the crease as well. There you go. Then with that same brush, I'm going to kind of give it a little shadow right here. Going to the edge. I think I need a smaller brush for this. Mm -hmm, like this one kind of going like that yeah with the same eyeshadow next I'm gonna go into this shade and I'm gonna soften up the little bit of the edges on top of that more darker like terracotta color that I used and I'm gonna do that with this Muller brush something like this not too big not too fluffy and kind of going like in the edges to soften that up and make it a little bit more yellowish in the top next I want to use this kind of shimmer darker it's not black it's kind of grayish and I want to use that in the this part of the lid and I'm gonna wet the brush for this because I feel like I need to, otherwise it's not gonna stick that well. So let's go ahead and wet the brush because I know with this formula, Juvia's Place, I always kind of want to do this because it sticks a lot better. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this in the outer part of the eye. Kind of like contrasting with this gorgeous yellowish shade and we're gonna do the same thing here giving it a little bit more depth to the look and next what i'm going to use in the front of my lid is going to be this beautiful yellowish it has some sparkle to it i don't know if the camera yes it can i can see it I think that's going to look beautiful as well. And for that, you know what? I'm going to use a little bit of the NYX Glitter Primer. I think it's going to make a difference. And it's going to stick really well. Let's do that. A little bit goes a long way here. Let's do the same thing here. That's going to be perfect right there. And... I usually what I do is I use the same brush to kind to to kind of stick 
the same eyeshadow that I'm going to use with the same brush. I think it looks really good. And let's do the same thing here. I think that's going to look perfect. I'm going to stick them together. And hopefully that works like I have it in my head. I think it's going to look really pretty. Let's go ahead and use that same eyeshadow. Oh, that's very yellowish. I love it. And let's go in. Look how gorgeous that is. It is so pretty. I need a little bit more product. Because it sticks really well to the lid. Look how pretty that looks. That looks really, really good. Now I just tried with my finger and I think it made a good difference there. Um, this beautiful shade in the middle. And I think that is going to look really good in the middle of the lid. Something different that I'm trying today. That's looking really good. Because that black and that yellow were not kind of colliding together. So I think that this is looking really pretty, really bronzy. And it's making a difference. And with the finger, it's applying amazingly. Next, I'm going to go into my Jeffree Star. This one is the Liquid Frost um, Highlighter. But this one I use it a lot for like smaller places that I want to pop, if you may say, a little bit. And a little, 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 little bit goes a long way. What I'm going to use is just a tiny piece in front of each. Oh, because this has a lot, let me tell you. I think it works better if I use a tiny bit with the brush like this, like that, because a little bit goes a long way. And what this is going to do is going to make the eyeshadow that I put in there pop up a lot more than if I do it itself. And I'm just going to use a little tiny bit right there, like this. This is such a beautiful formula and it's very lightweight, feels like water based, honestly. So I just used a little bit right there. And now with the same brush, what I'm going to do is go into that previous one that I used in the lid, but it's going to make it a lot more brighter or, you know, like look like a highlight. I'm going to use a little tiny bit like that. And I'm going to go into that same area and kind of go like this. And look at that, how metallic that looks. Really, really nice. These are little tricks that I've learned along the way, playing with makeup. And I think they make a difference. Really pretty, really metallic. And I'm loving it. Hi, my divas. I'm back. As you may see, I added some lashes and also an eyeliner and lipstick oh my god this look really surprised me because it's giving egyptian goddess look with this beautiful kind of like golden and bronzy look i didn't even plan for but it went absolutely good i mean look at my earrings they even match the lipstick the eye look the lashes oh my goodness i cannot be any more happier with this look i absolutely love it i think it came out to be so so elegant and yet it's colorful but not too colorful i am loving loving this look my divas what can I say? Juvia's never disappoints. I absolutely love Juvia's Place. They are such an amazing brand. So affordable. I love their mats. I love their shimmers. They all work amazingly. Um, I have learned to work with Juvia's formula. The mats, they just blend amazingly. But then I personally, I don't know everyone out there, but me personally on the shimmers, 
I like to use a little bit of the NYX uh, glitter primer because I think they perform amazingly. They perform a lot better. They stick super fast and also they shine a little bit more. Um, as you may see, I, I added that on top of those two colors that I had already used, which it was that one, and I believe it was the black dark ones. Not black, they're grayish, brownish. I think they came out to look perfect. And what can I say, my divas? I'm super happy with this look. Um, I didn't think it was going to come out so pretty. Honestly, I totally recommend this palette. If you want to buy it, go go run to the UBS Place um, website and buy it because it is amazing. Look how elegant she looks. Mm. <laughs> I kind of did something with my hair today. Oh, I'm so happy that I can do a bun already because my hair has been growing and um, I couldn't wait for it. So my divas, yes, that's all for today. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up like share subscribe don't forget to subscribe please my divas that will help me out also give it a thumbs up and if you liked it give me some leave me some comments down below uh, lately i've been receiving a lot of love from my uh the little followers that i have but i it means so much to me i've been so happy and i respond to every single one of them because i love you all my divas i hope to see you soon in my other video Mwah. bye